What's going on everybody? Welcome back to G Miles World and right now we're going to jump into how you can level up super fast, super glitchy and it's not that superstar KO glitch that was since patched. Um, I don't know if some of you guys got banned for it. Let me know in the comments. Uh, but most of my viewers did not get banned from it. So you guys were able to gain a lot of mutt levels and all you had to do was go into superstar mode and practice. That was it. And you were gaining crazy XP. But it has since been patched. Uh, so I wouldn't recommend doing it right now. I don't know if EA is going to try to say, yo, you guys are exploiting the game and they possibly ban you. So I would just leave it alone. If you got away with it, it's done. It's over. Let's move on. There are a few things that I want to talk to you guys about. Number one, the most feared daily reward. It's going to be several things I'm going to be asking you guys to respond to in the comments. I want to know what day you're at right now. Where are you? Because you, right now we should be at day four because they boosted everybody an extra day. Some people already started off on 15, but you missed out on a lot of the other things. So just let me know where you guys are right now. As of right now, I'm at day four, all right? But this right here, I just wanted to bring this up. You have to buy a pack every day when it resets or you will not get credit as it continues to go on. Please make sure that you're doing that. I just want to make sure that everybody is really aware of that. It's very, very important that you do that because what happens is this, right? If you miss a day, you start back from scratch, okay? And we don't want that, all right? We want everybody getting everything they're supposed to get and keeping it moving. So that's number one. Right here is just my daily objective. We're going to be talking about how far you guys have come along with your, uh, you know, your daily regular season objectives. So let's go ahead. I'm going to come back to most feared in a second. This right here, what you just saw me get was my daily objective as far as how it works out. Right now, I'm at 11 days, okay? Let me know where you are. If you missed the day, what's going on? Did EA not track it? Let me know all that stuff, but that's one of the things that I wanted to focus in on. Now, as far as gaining the XP, this was something that many of you guys were raging about, okay? Just because one part of you know the objectives tell you that you only need one most feared player, that does not mean that all of them do it. In this particular instance, you needed three. I pointed it out several times and many of you guys still only have one player and then tweeted me or you, you hit me up with a post on X like, yo, gee, I'm not getting credit. You weren't getting credit because you didn't have the three players in. Now this right here, every week they're going to give you an option to gain an additional 40,000 XP. That looks like the route that they're going to make sure that they don't give us less because last season they screwed us over at the end and a lot of us weren't able to get to that max level. That's all going to change. All right. So I want you guys to focus in on the week to week objectives. And like I said, read what it tells you specifically to know if you have to have other players because it will affect you negatively if you're wasting your time. Many of you guys are on schedule. You don't have time to just be sitting playing the game willy nilly, dude. You know what I'm saying? So you got to make sure you're focusing on that. Let me know what your daily is. All right. Let's get back to um, other things that you could be doing right now. Now, the main purpose of this video is to let you guys understand how important this most feared segment is. You get a ton of XP throughout this whole process, a ton of it, all right? Now, this is a three-part promo, all right? Three-part promo. So not only are you reaching your level and getting XP for the 55, but you're gonna be getting a ton of free players, you're gonna be getting a ton of treats. It's a lot of stuff throughout this actual field pass, all right? I want you guys to understand, this is something that most of you guys don't really pay attention to when it comes to head to head and solo battles always make sure that you plan accordingly what do i mean this getting 30 sacks with a most feared player in your lineup this can be done in any mode how do i know that because it doesn't say head to head or solo battles it'll always list it like this head to head or solo battles all right now with the way that this works right and how everybody is starting to have a little bit of difficulty with it. Once you get through all of this, okay, then you focus in on the next thing that has to do with the CPU. Like separate the way you do the computer games from the head-to-head -head games. Because I found that it's a lot easier if I just come to it and I'm like, all right, it's stats. Usually when they listed the stats, you can do it offline, you can do it in the solo the solos, the challenges, whatever, and it's easier. Less brain power, you're not really doing much, and you're handling it, chilling, probably watching my video in the background and having a good time. The challenges, obviously, you're gonna, you know, this is offline, all right? The sets, very self-explanatory. If you wanna get the spirit board set done, you have to do the most fair challenges, not the arcana, the most fair challenges. Trick or treat, this is another thing with the computers. 
and the computer. And it's found at the bottom left by the head-to-head -head at the main screen. So this is also CPU. This right here, Monster Mayhem, this is head-to-head. -head. So these things I always try to do last because it has to do with playing an opponent that their job is to make me hate myself as much as I want to make them hate themselves for playing Madden 24. So it's going to be sweaty. So I separate that. When you do it this way, because I still haven't done the other Arcana challenges yet, it makes it a lot more simplistic. Because obviously, as you gain the most feared XP, it goes to the rewards. And you can see I just got another 20,000 XP, which is why I just jumped to level 33. All right? As I continue to do this and I go through it, more than likely when I'm done with all the challenges, let me just show you where I am. Because when I do the Arcana challenges, you're going to see when I get to 50 stars, I should be at another 2,000. So I'm going to be right here. I'm going to get an 87 overall B&D most feared hero player. All right. So these things come in handy. Now, some of you guys were asking, would the packs update as they drop it week to week? Probably. I don't know. But in the past, it didn't uh, for these particular field passes. So it doesn't matter if you wait or you don't. You know what I'm saying? Like for me, because I don't know if they're going to update it. If you open the pack up later, uh, you know, when it's actually the new cards are revealed week to week. I don't know the answer to that because EA Sports changes it up regardless. All right. But the focus is the XP. So I don't really care about B&Ds anyway, so I'm going to be focused in on getting these challenges done and using that as much as possible to go ahead and get my, you know, my mutt level up. The next thing, you should already be done with Unstoppable, so we're never going to go over that. That doesn't even really matter. The competitive, since it's been reset and a lot of us have already gotten, you know, uh, what is that, Justin Fields, um, we've now gone back onto the grind for being able to get more XP. That's what we're looking to do right now. All right, because you can see the XP increases very steadily as you go past that Justin Fields aspect. All right, everything is 25,000. All right, so what are we doing? We're doing our, obviously we're doing our dailies. You got to make sure you do your dailies. That's very, very obvious. Okay, but the Mutt Champ should always be done first. And I don't care what your, your level of play is. I don't care how good you are. A lot of you guys are like, yo, gee, I'm not that good. It no longer matters. Everything counts. Just get your objective, objectives done, and let, if somebody's beating the hell out of you, let them beat the hell out of you. Just get your objectives done. Solo battles still have things that track during wins, though. So be very, very careful with that. That is very important. Bro, it would suck if you go in there and you lose a solo battle game on Legendary because you're labbing, and it was something that only tracked during wins. All right? Head-to-head, -head, you can take your time doing this. They give you very limited XP out of this. But the milestone of the 100 is where you really gain up. So as you start to grind through it, remember when you're gonna if you're gonna play a mode after you completed the mutt champs and everything like that, focus in on head to head and try to get those hundred games done because it's gonna be the easiest thing possible. And then remember, as you level up, you're gonna get to this 90 overall champion. And that's gonna be probably something really good for you guys. So that's very, very important as well. So that's what I want you guys to focus in on right now. The reset of the competitive pass and the most feared. Make sure you're paying attention to those objectives and focus in on it. And you're going to be mutt level 55, you know, probably way before me. A lot of you guys are already like 37, 38, but I'm going to still give you guys the insight. Sit back, relax, enjoy this gameplay, and let me know what made you laugh the most. Because this is going to be some hilarious gameplay for you guys. Thank you for watching. Subscribe, share. See you guys and girls next time. One love, y'all. All right, he's 328. All right. So we'll grab him real quick. What the hell was that? That's you? Okay. I was like, what the hell is that? All right. So he's 87 speed. And we could put Crowder on the outside anyway. It doesn't matter. All right. Platt's playbook don't got big nickel. I, do, I don't, I don't, I don't think so. Yeah, no, Lurker, you got to go, Armin Hunter, you got to go Lurk Artist. You have to use Lurk, you have to use Lurk Artist. There's no other, do not use anything else other than Lurk Artist. Only Lurk Artist because it's for one. You know what I'm saying? So just don't, don't do anything else other than that. And you'll be good. You can't, you can't, the whole point is not wasting two. You don't want to waste two AP. Yeah, bro, you need another video? I spoke about Lurk Artist already. You probably, you probably, Lurk Artist is like a mixture of Pick Artist and the other thing. Hey. 
It's the same. It just makes the linebackers jump. So instead of using two, you use one. Kansas City has both big nickel and six one. Yeah, I'm in. I'm in Raiders. I think and it has both. Is it Raiders that I'm in? I don't even know what the hell I'm in right now. Am I in Raiders? All right, so Channing Crowder goes pretty crazy too, but um, he actually has good coverages. So he has 90 zone. That's insane. 90 zone coverage. And 81 man. Yeah, yeah, that that's that that's insane. That's insane. So that's what that's what we'll use for now. Um with the way that it's set up. Now we have one AP left. So we, we have enough for the one more lurker. Um, whenever we, you know what I'm saying? Whenever we get that, we get, you know, the one, the one more lurker. But for now, for the one AP, we'll just go with Stonewall, like some stupid thing that uh, Jack Spade wants everybody to use. Yeah, so you put him on the edge. So when you run zone coverage, you know what I'm saying? He's going to go and put work in and you'll be good to go. All of this is just to prevent Having to continuously um, have it to continuously thing there to to pause the game and do all that other weird stuff. Yeah, I don't want to do all that. So it, it just works out a little bit better. All right, let me have one of these pickles, bro. Hmm. Hmm. This is good. Mm. Yeah, I gotta activate Mac. Uh, hold up. Nah, you don't have to use it for it to work. They'll just jump up like idiots. Ah, uh, good catch, OG. All right, let's go back into the mode. Now, you got to remember, there's a few things I want you guys to understand. If you can, if you can change the 4-3-6-1 to however you want, it could be cover 2, it could be cover 3, cover 4, whatever. But because I'm not using the Patriots playbook, I don't have the stock cover 2. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It, it works no matter what. They just jump up like idiots. Like, they actually have legs when you put uh, Lurk Artists on them. That's EA's way of saying... You know, bro, here, here you go. You know what I'm saying? EA, that's EA Sports' way of saying, here, guys, you know, have this. For me, have this. They didn't react as a DB? Hold up. Who, has, who didn't react as a DB? What the hell? Andrew, what the hell are you talking about? Who didn't react as DBs? I don't know what the hell that guy's talking about. Um. Hold up, let me see. Okay. Uh. Hold up. Did we put we put that there? But, all right, let's go. Oh, Robinson with lurk artists. Okay. We don't get no justice. Robinson with Lurk Artist does you saying he doesn't animate. Okay. Why did he throw it like that? Come on, bro. You can't throw Dog, you cannot throw the ball like that, man. Come on, dude. All right, you know what? Let me, uh... Hold the block, bruh. Yeah, it, it's good. Yeah, for for 1 AP, it, like, if you're not running that for 1 AP, you're doing it wrong. You know what I'm saying? 
Like that that's ultimately what's going on. Please. Thank you. God damn, he's not playing defense. Can we just get a play? He's not playing defense, bro. Like he's actively not playing defense, man. I, yo, dude, I don't know what the hell he was just doing. 3 LA, 2 PA. Hold up. 3 Lurk Artist, 2 Pick Artist. All right. Yeah, yeah, pretty much. Dog, okay, so this guy this guy is just Ding everything up. Like like okay, he just knows how, he just knows how to play D, huh, chat? My man just knows how to play D to the end. Okay. Bro, he'll, he'll be your friend to the end like Chucky. You know what I'm saying, dude? That's a dot. Bro, bro that's a goddamn dot. Like, yo, chat. Yeah, we're going to lift them up. Lift them up. Let's go, dude. Lift them up, bro. Yeah, we're going to deal with this, dude. Yeah, Andrew. Yo, bro, look. Look, this offense that I run is really nasty. Um, Because I, if you give me man-on-man -man coverage, I'm going to moss you. You run zone, I'm going to dot you with a corner route. You run zone, I'm going to run the ball. Like, it's just, it, it's really nasty, dude. It's it's really, really disgusting, to be honest. OG Antlock, you scum mother effer. Yeah, and then I'm going to run 4 3 six, one, and just send everybody every play. Like, I, I don't care, dude. Like, I, I at this point, EA Sports, man, like, I, I don't care, dude. It's only right. You know I had to do it. And let's get it. All right, we're going to leave him there. And I'm going to put, Bernard's going to go there. And I think everything else is good except for this guy. Yeah. All right. So what does he want to do exactly? Dance for me. Dance for me. Dance for me. Dance for me. Yeah, just like that, girl. Yeah. All right. Yo, dude. All right. He said slabs on no updates now that I'm up at half. I see. Oh, yo, bro. There's no updates. Oh, oh, BK. BK is about to take care of Tron. GG's. Bro, Sla Slab don't give updates, bro. He did it again. He don't care, dude. Bro, my, my man don't care. He said he, he said he gonna dominate, chat. He just kicked the field goal. He couldn't wait. Hey, Slab, he couldn't wait to tell everybody that you were hating on him, bro. You know how BK rolls. That boy go hard. Dudes is getting screamed at all over the place. Hey, chat, dudes are getting screamed at. Yeah, all right, he's going to quit the game. Chat, he's quitting the game. We're going to have another pickle. 